Mads, come here. Yeah, before I can even put the other bait out, guys, we got a fish on. What is it, Dave? All right. All right, guys, beautiful king mackerel. This is Mads' first king. Camera guy Lucas is hooked up right now on the slow on. pitch. Man, you got a nice black fin on. There we go, double up. Right, double, double up, double up. Nice, nice black fin, nice black fin. Yep. Oh, watch this line. Oh, oh, it's a good one. Let's get this gap shot. Almost. Wait, I'll bring him up. I'll bring him up. Damn, mine's gonna come off. Chase, hold on, Chase. I'll, I'll stick my here. There you go. Woo. Mine took good. There we go. All right. Yeah. Two tunas, guys. Nice. Woo. Nice little black man. About 10, 12 pounders. There we go. Very nice. We've got a nice fish here on the jig. Feeling very heavy. Look at the bend of that rod, guys. Nice fish here. Oh, I, I can't stop him, dude. This, I don't know if this is a tuna, dude. This feels like a damn. I got a freaking submarine on here. He's just steady pulling line. Dude, is here. that a tuna? Dude, that's I a see big a tuna. That's a big tuna. That's a big tuna. It's a monster. It might be a yellowfin. That's it might be a yellowfin. That's a, that's a big tuna. tuna. Just get ready to stick it. It's huge. Get ready, get ready. Stick him. Yeah, bring him in the boat. You're going to drop his head off. Yes! Sir. Yo! Oh, Guys, look at this. Tuna. Oh my god. Woo! Oh, Alright, so huge tuna. Colors turn on fire. <laughs> and as soon as I got that live bait down deep, it got it got nailed. See him doing some circles, it's definitely a tuna. one guys another 10 15 pounder look at all that blood Woo! all right guys awesome way to end the day i started off with a few kings on the planers and some nice tunas on the jig and then uh got my brother here my brother chase here his first sailfish right at sunset check out that sunset over there So we're uh, we're out running a storm right now, so we're gonna try to flay them up real quick. I might just slab them out and then clean them up at my house. Anyways, you come right down the backbone like that, and I raise my knife right over his backbone. And uh, if you want, you can make a cut right down his lateral line here. It's bigger tunas, make it a little easier. Release this top slab here.
another loin. Pop his eyes. Send him off. On to the next one. Alright guys, after today's trip, this is what we're left with in the, in the kitchen. Some beautiful medallion tuna steaks and we're about to cook them up. Um, my cooking isn't like Land Shark's channel, so don't get your expectations too high. I like it really simple and quick, because I don't like to take an hour to cook my food after I fished all day. So what I'm gonna do is, um, half of these we're gonna season one side with Tony Thatchery's Creole, one side lemon pepper, a little mix that I like. And then the other ones we're gonna do some Italian seasoning and rosemary. And all I'm doing is taking my grill pan, putting it on my burner outside on the grill, I'll spray it down with some canola oil, sear them up, and then while that's happening, I'm gonna cook up some sweet peas and some corn, just some canned veggies, and those are done in literally two minutes in the microwave, and these will be seared up in two or three minutes, so that's not even 10 minutes of cooking, and uh, we'll be eating our food, so that's kinda how I like to roll. Let's get it going. All right, guys, so we got our veggies cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and season these up. Like I said, we're gonna do half the Creole and lemon pepper and then, uh, with rosemary and Italian seasoning. Yeah, guys, we're gonna do a little taste test. We're gonna do half Creole and lemon pepper and then half with Italian and rosemary and y'all will decide what's better, okay? This seasoning, you'll have more of a fresh taste and you'll be able to taste the tuna a little more. The other one, a little more spicy and flavorful. So, it'll come down to preference. All right guys, I got my little grill pan here. Little burner, I'm gonna put them all in down. Oh, that's what you wanna hear, baby. Yeah, buddy. like puzzle pieces, make them all fit. Oh yeah. So if you can see this edge here, as it starts to cook, yeah, we're about a quarter inch up right now. I like it about a third of the way up from the top and a third of the way down from the bottom. Keep that middle nice and rare. It's gonna be delicious. All right, guys, a little taste test action here. We got the Cajun and lemon pepper first. It's pretty darn good. Let's see about the other stuff. Oh, you want me part of the taste test, bud? Come here. Taste nice. You can't be up here. Mmm, <laughs> I like the the fresh a little bit better, to be honest. I've had a lot of Tony Thatchery's Creole seasoning, so uh, I like being able to taste that tuna. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and um, we'll catch you on the next episode. Please make sure to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Ooh.